Hello and welcome to another Matt Hatter's review. Um, hey, sweetie, can you guess what we're going to review today? Just by maybe, I don't know, what I'm wearing? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, you got it right. Except that's the cartoon <laughs> song that you were singing, which is factually incorrect because today we are reviewing the 1990 Ninja Turtle figures wave two yes well well that's uh, that, you, were, you were close that's uh that's part two that's ninja turtle part two this is part one the 1990 version and um as you see we have the whole set right here we have master splinter we have aruku saki aka the shredder we have foot soldier uh melee weapon version and then we have foot soldier bladed weapon version um this was uh, like I said, wave two, the first wave of this line was, of course, the Ninja Turtles, um, which uh, we're going to probably put these next to um, at some point. But um, uh, this was wave two, released this on GameStop, or GameSpot, uh, about like, uh, what I want to say like a week ago, was sold out, went back up, sold out again, went back up, sold that out, and I think it sold out again. So I don't know what NECA is doing with their stock, and they just keep selling out, but um, I was really excited to get these now. Um, Fun fact here, if you went to San Diego Comic-Con last year, you probably got this set. Um, it came with Splinter and he was sort of like chained up and it was sort of like a, um, a oh, you know what? I should go bring that. Uh, let's hold on one All second All right, so here. we're back. Um, so uh, what I wanted to do is I just kind of wanted to show a comparison. This was the San Diego Comic-Con version um, of the uh, Shredder Splinter set. Now, as you can see, this Splinter... Um, he comes with these little, um, I think they're chains that basically go on his, uh, on his arms. And they're just basically there to simulate the, uh, the scene where Shredder has him chained up on this crate. Um, the, uh, the difference is between these and, uh, this one and this version, I'm going to put this away just for now, is, um, this splinter here obviously doesn't come with any, any chains. But more than that, the reason why I bought these two is because supposedly the splinter, um, uh, uh, stood better than the one from San Diego Comic-Con. Apparently, this guy or the other one from San Diego Comic-Con has trouble standing because of the tail. So, I double-dipped. I double-dipped because I'm a giant Ninja Turtles fan, and knowing that there's one that stands better than the other one, I can't take that. My OCD will not let that happen, so had to get the splinter. Shredder, um, the difference with him is, um, I guess the face sculpt is different on this one. It's a little better. It's a little tighter on this one as well. We're going to be opening them up. We'll do some kind of close-ups, opening these up. And then uh, you got the Foot Soldiers. Now with the Foot Soldiers, I think they stay the same as the San Diego editions, but you can never have enough Foot Soldiers. In fact, I don't want to tell you this, my wife, but I may have ordered more Foot Soldiers than the ones that I have here. I went a little Foot Soldier crazy at night. Um, I'm not proud of it. We might, you know, we might be seeing a bill it's just, uh, you know, that's, that's just, that's the life. That's the collector life here. So um, just uh, a fair warning here. So we're going to open these up here and we're going to uh, take a look at, uh, at these a little deeper here. So um, let's go ahead and check these out. All right, here we go. So bladed foot soldier edition. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at them right now. So right off the bat, um, you can see the textures um, on the on the uh, the uniform right here. NECA's always really, really good with the textures. Um, looks like some sort of like, almost leathery kind of material. Um, then you have the face mask. Face masks uh, came out great. You have the, the, the dots on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the mouth. You have the, uh, the bug eyes uh, there. You have the headband right there as well with the, uh, with the uh, shredder symbol. Um, you got the back right here with the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the ties that are kind of like blowing in the wind. They actually give you a separate one too. Um, doesn't look like it's too much different, but if in case you just want some kind of variety, uh, you're good with that as well. Um, looks like there is a, uh, this looks like a cloth belt. Um, I think it's there to kind of like, if you want to, uh, looks like it's elastic. Yeah, if you want to put some kind of like uh, weapons in there. Um, and then you have the, uh, the tied off belt as well. Then you got the gauntlets. The gauntlets look great. Uh, look exactly like the movie did, where it's got sort of the, uh, not spikes, but kind of the, uh, I don't know, even know what, what would you call that? Um, but just sort of that texture on there as well. So let's go ahead. And then you have the, the, the foot wraps, of course. Um, 
you know, these are the, these are foot soldiers, so you got to represent in the foot department too. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at some articulation right here. So from head to toe, or starting at the head right here, uh, we have the ball joint right here. Um, this is really good in case you kind of want to put him um, right here, uh, uh, looking up, looking at some turtles, looking down, looking at some turtles below. Um, he's looking at turtles everywhere, but uh, but yeah, really really nice. Then you have the shoulder joint. Uh, shoulder joint's pretty good. Um, then you have the, um, uh, the, uh, the bend right here at the elbow. You have the hinges. Uh, hinges are a little bit stiff. Um, careful with some of these NECA figures. If you, you know, sometimes you, you, you use them too hard, they can uh, pop off. Um, uh, what I do like about NECA is they don't overly articulate. As you can see, there's no, uh, there's not really an ab crunch here. Um, I don't mind that because I like aesthetic a little more than, uh, than articulation and sometimes, a figure can be so articulated that it is usually at the detriment of uh, the aesthetic, and um, I kind of like to go the other way. I like these to be uh, to actually look, I don't know, just look really good. Um, uh, but yeah, in terms of posability, then you have the standard knee joints, um, and then you have uh, sort of the the ball motion on the uh, on the on the feet as well. So pretty pretty solid uh, uh, figure, I think. Um, gonna have a lot of fun army building these um especially with the different variety of weapons here so obviously this is the bladed edition we have the katana right here we have the size we have the axe this axe is really really cool and then we have the hands um he's got his uh his uh i guess you call them gotcha hands right here and then he has the the, uh, the hands where you can kind of like grip some things as well and then again he has this um this extra bandana. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, open the other uh, the other foot soldier here and just go over the weapons. We won't do another articulation run, but uh, let's see what the other one's looking like. All right. And uh, here we go. Let's uh, go ahead just uh, over the uh, the melee foot soldier right here. Um, we're not going to go into a whole articulation, but just sort of the weapons right here. You got the, uh, the bow staff. You got the nunchucks. Look at that. Chain nunchucks. Uh, you can spin them too. Uh, really, really nice detail there. It's got these little ridges as well i don't know if you can see them uh, but that's pretty cool um then you got uh, these two um uh are they nightsticks i think they're nightsticks i'm yes. gonna go with nightsticks but uh, they can kind of uh, i'm sure there's another name for them and people are gonna say that uh that uh, i don't know what i'm talking about but i'm calling these nightsticks they're really really cool you can kind of like uh have them dual wield these and then you have the rope nunchucks although you're not getting a, a spin action there but i guess it doesn't matter because you can kind of hold them um, as well, uh, and you know, get some some posability on these too. Um, in terms of the arms, or in terms of the hands, same hands. You got the gotcha hands. You got the uh, the grabbing uh, weapons hands, and then you have the uh, the extra bandana. Um, and as you can see right here, looks just like the other guy. So uh, we're already army building. Look at that. We got two already. We've got plenty more to come. And uh, we're gonna go ahead now and open um, the uh, splinter next. All right, I'm I'm fanboying out because this is Master Splinter. And oh boy, have I wanted a figure of this for the longest time. And I mean, do you think they did a good job? Yes. This, oh, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing figure here. Uh, right off the bat, um, the sculpt is spot on. The scale is spot on. Um, he's gonna scale real, real well with the other Ninja Turtles. Um, he's uh, mixed media, he's got cloth here, but the sculpting on him, I mean, look at that face. He's got the little chin beard right here. He's got the, the wise eyes. He's got the ear. And look, he's got the other ear that is cut off. Do you remember how it got cut off? Yes. Got cut off by Aruku Saki, a.k.a. the Shredder, when he was protecting his master. What's his master's name? Oh, I don't remember that. Hamato Yoshi. Hamato Yoshi. Um, dude, this is amazing. Uh, one thing I am curious about is this tail. Um, I'm wondering how he stands with this tail. Um, let's take a look because I did hear that this is this is the one that actually does stand as opposed to the other one that has problems. Um, so we're gonna take a look. You know, this might be, we might have to kind of like uh, explore this one a little bit because the tail seems to not be articulated. It looks like it's one giant piece and it is bendable. So I'm gonna have to take a look at how that, uh, that stands. If it does, we'll take some pictures. But for now, I um, just wanna go over some other articulation points. Um, the hands, uh, obviously he doesn't have any extra hands, um, but, and it d d doesn't look like, actually they do have hinges. So they did put hinges on the hands. They're very, very thin. The wrists are super thin. The, uh, the, uh, the head is a swivel. Then you have his, his, uh, his, uh, his feet as well. 
thin too, but they are, I think they're double, yeah, they, they look like they're double, they got double joints just like an animal right here, so they can actually bend that way, and uh, still don't know what's going on with this tail, uh, but, uh, and then you have this belt, belt's tied off as well, uh, you have sort of the rag, they did a good job kind of like making the, uh, this, the, 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 uh, the gi all, uh, all raggedy and, 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 and holes in the cloth. This is an amazing figure. I love the look of this figure. Um, let's just talk about his accessories uh, real quick. So you have, of course, the pizza. It's got black olives, so I immediately hate it. Um, right away, also, you have the TCRI mutagen can. If you remember, this is the, uh, it's got the uh, radioactive material right there. This is the can that busted open and uh, created the Ninja Turtles. Um, and then, of course, you have these nunchucks. These are Michelangelo's nunchucks. They play a very pivotal role. Do you remember what he did with these nunchucks? What did he do? He killed the Shredder. Well, Shredder came back in the second one. But this is uh, this is the scene where Shredder ran at him. Uh, and he grabbed him with the nunchucks. And then he threw him off the building and into a garbage truck. So these are the nunchucks that he was wielding. So that's a nice little Easter egg. NECA does that really, really well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is... An amazing Splinter figure. Um, I am so happy with the way this came out. I love the choices they made. I love the cloth. And I think he's going to look really, really well next to the turtles. And um, yeah. Uh, so last but not least, we're going to go ahead and open up the Shredder. So All right. And last but not least, let us go ahead and talk about Aruku Saki, a.k.a. the Shredder. Um, first thing you're going to want to notice is he has this luxurious cape if you remember his cape from the uh, from the movie this actually comes off um and take a look right here it's got these little uh this little hook um it uh, looks like there's a hook on one end i don't know if mine is just missing one but uh um i can go ahead and check the bag but uh what's cool about this is there's a little bit of a wire in uh, on the sides right here so you can kind of like create some uh, articulation within the capes as well i don't see myself using this too much because uh he had it for one scene and uh don't really love the look of it kind of looks a little zebra-ish i don't know i don't know why he would wear this but uh it's cool that, that comes with that um he's got this little uh blade this sheath blade that he has so you get the uh you get the uh not just the dagger here but you get the little the little sheath whoops goes right in there then you have some arms or you have some hands rather um don't know who would be using some of these uh, non-shredder hands, but I do like, well, you know what? This is the only one that you can use to grip with, so maybe you'll do that. Uh, no, actually, you got this one as well. Um, so you got the shredder hands um, in addition to articulated, or, or to, uh, to, to non-shredder hands. And then finally, you have the spike bow stab. If you remember at the end of the movie, this is what he fights the Ninja Turtles with on the roof. So pretty cool. Um, so to the figure, um, let's go take a look at, because I believe the mask does come off. Let's do that very slowly. Ooh. So as you can see right here, you have the Aruku Saki face. And um, the sculpting on this is really, really well done. Maybe we can kind of take a look at it in the light right here. Um, yeah, that's a lot better. Um, you can see he's got the scar on his face from when, uh, when he got... Uh, 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 bitten by uh, by Splinter um, right before he killed, or right after he killed his master, uh, and he got his ear cut off. So yeah, really, really nice detail. Um, let's go ahead and see if that comes, if that actually pops in easy. Hopefully it does. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we got to give it a little bit of force here. Come on. Yeah. Um, I don't think I did a such a great job here, but. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, in terms of the rest of the figure, um, as you can see, he's got uh, um, the, the texturing. He also has that sort of um, uh, glitter effect um, that Shredder had with the little, I guess that's the only way to call it, just kind of like uh, sparkles a little bit. He has the um, he has the elastic waistband. He's got the, of course, um, the little uh, 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 the, the, the spikes on his gauntlet, the spikes on his arm. He's got the shoulder spikes that are uh, done really well. And they're actually pretty solid, too. Doesn't look like they're going to move very much. And then you have, obviously, the... Uh, the uh, the leg uh, the leg spikes as well in terms of uh, in terms of uh, articulation you know he has the ball joint um, pretty much the same as the foot soldier he's got the uh, the shoulder ones as well um, pretty tight figure I think you're gonna have to do some uh, some maneuvering you might have to heat this up a little bit uh, that's usually the case with NECA stuff um, again you don't wanna you don't wanna 
You don't want to bend on it too hard because uh, you don't want it breaking off. These are not uh, not super cheap figures, so uh, you definitely don't have to rebuy. Uh, the helmet is great. The helmet came out perfect. I love the texturing on the helmet. I love the shape of it. It's so iconic. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is uh, a, a, as perfect of a shredder as as I think you can get. 1990 Ninja Turtle shredder. So um, we're going to be taking uh, some some photos of these as well. Um, Take a look and uh, let us know what you think. Comment, subscribe, and um, hopefully you get these. Again, they go up and they, they go up on the game site, GameSpot uh, uh, site. Then they go down. Then they go up. Then they go down. Hopefully you can get some pieces. And um, I have a bunch of foot soldiers coming in. I'm gonna uh, probably set up a nice little diorama uh, in homage to the 1990 movie. And uh, and yeah, so let us know what you think. Uh, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.